hello everyone today in this video we are going to learn how can we make one channel transmitter and receiver using the nrf24 module so let's get started now let's understand the circuit diagram so for the nrf module first pin is the ground pin second pin is the vcc pin you can supply more than 3.6 volts on the VCC pin. Third pin is the chip enable pin. So it is an active high pin. When selected the NRF24 module, uh, it will either transmit or receive uh, depending upon the mode. Next is the chip select not mode CSN pin. So it is normally kept high and when this pin goes low, the NRF24 module uh, begins the listening on its SPI port uh, for the data and then it process the data. The SCK pin, it is the pin which accepts the clock pulses provided by the SPI, SPI bus master. Then the master out serial uh, master out slave in, it is the input, it is the SPI input to the NRF24 model. Then the MISO that is master in slave out. It is the SPI output from the NRF module. The IRQ pin is the it is an interrupt pin that can alert the master when new data is available to process. So we are not going to use this IRQ pin. Next in the circuit diagram, uh, we can see the ground is connected to ground of the Arduino. The VCC is connected to 3.3 volts of the Arduino Uno. Similarly the circuit diagram is for the Arduino Nano. Next the third pin is connected to D7 pin of the Arduino Uno. The fourth pin of the NRF24 model is connected to eighth pin of the Arduino Uno. Next the fifth pin of the module is connected to 13th pin of the Arduino Uno. The sixth pin is connected to 11th pin of the Arduino Uno and 7th pin is connected to 12th pin of the Arduino Uno. So same circuit diagram is for the Arduino Nano. Now let's understand the code section of our project. So first of all I am including the SPI library in order to perform the SPI communication. So as we know NRF24 module supports the SPI communication. Next the RF24 library is used to minimize the lines of code and make our task easy so it contains various functions which will be helping uh, in the communication process next I am declaring the object for the class RF24 in that I am passing the values of pins that is C pin and CSN pin of the NRF24 modules next I am declaring the address uh, array variable so this array variable contains the value 001 so this will be our security code for the communication next I am just uh, declaring a boolean variable which initializes with 0 in the void setup part first I am using the dot begin function in order to initialize the operation of the NRF24 module. Next, I am using the open writing pipe function in order to send our data to the particular address. So here I am passing your argument as address. So here you can see this is the address variable right here. So everything we are going to send, it will be sent to this address. That means it will be sent to the address 001. Next, I am setting the power amplifier level as minimum right here so in order to write that means transmit the data we have to first use the dot stop listening function in order to send some data or write some data so that is why i have used the dot stop listening function before the dot write function in the word loop part next i am just setting the pin mode of fourth pin as the input pin in the void loop part, I am reading the data which is on the fourth pin of the Arduino and storing it into this button check variable. 
next i am just send, sending the data using the dot write function in the dot write function i am passing the arguments as the address uh, of the bu button check variable and the size of the button check variable using the size of operator so this was the transmitter code next in the receiver code i am doing the similar things i am declaring the libraries next i am i am declaring the object so similarly what we have did in the transmitter section we have stored the value 001 similarly we are doing it in here next i am just uh, declaring the boolean variable which initializes as 0 in the void setup part similarly i am just using the dot begin function in order to initialize the operation of the module next i am using the open reading pipe which receives the data from uh, which receives the data from this address that is 001 next i am setting the uh, power amplification level to minimum so before using the dot read function we have to we have to declare the dot start listening function so in order to do that i am uh, using the dot start listening function before the dot read function next i am just setting the pin mode of third pin of the Arduino as the output which is connected to LED so in the void loop part I am just uh, using the while loop and a dot available function so if any data is available to read this uh, statement this condition will be true or else if there is no data to uh, read or available to read this statement will be false so if this while loop executes this uh, lines also execute so here i am using the dot read function which in which i am passing the arguments as the address of button variable and the size of button variable so this uh, size of button variable uh, whatever we will be receiving We'll, we will be storing it into this button variable right here so the uh, value of this button check will be equal to value of this button variable on receiving and then just I am simply uh, writing the va value whatever value we are we have been received to the to the third pin of the Arduino so this was about the receiver section so now let's test our project so here you can see this is the arduino uno this is the receiver led these two are the nrf24 modules this is the arduino nano this is the transmitter button with an input pull down resistor and this is the other nrf module so when we push this button we are successfully sending high that is 1 from this part that is the transmitter part to the receiver part here right here so now by default it is 0 and when we press the button it sends 1 so this is the one channel transmission similarly you can add uh, other channels such as uh, servos and all and you can add joysticks on the transmitter side so with this you can make a uh, two three or four channel radio transmitter and receiver systems so this was uh, about our project i hope you have liked it thank you very much